Hello everybody, it's me, the excellent reviewer, and in case you haven't heard, um, crazy news about Sonya Deville uh, being stalked and this guy trying to kidnap her. It, it, it's legitimately insane uh, just because of the fact that this dude is mentally not there. Um, so this guy named Philip A. Thomas... Uh, apparently, he had been stalking Sonia Deville on social media for quite a while, and that he had been, you know, planning to kidnap her for eight months. This is according to the uh, sheriff's office saying that he'd been planning this abduction for eight long months. Now, this is what's crazy. This is what's crazy. So, this guy obviously, you know, wanted to take Sonya Deville, so he managed to sneak himself into the backyard, the patio area, where he cut a hole in a patio screen, and he was there listening and watching Sonya Deville through the hole that he cut. He was just listening to her daily ongoings, you know, and he stayed there throughout the entirety of the night. And it wasn't until she went to sleep at around 2.43, you know, when everything is like nice and quiet and calm, that he decided that he was going, you know, this was his opportunity. So he, you know, tried to get into the door, like through, my bad, through the house, through the sliding glass door. And when he did so, he activated the alarm. And so Sonia saw this and uh, she heard the alarm. And as soon as she did, she got the fuck out of there. Because who, who you know, it was a good thing that she got the fuck out of there. And, and I'm going to tell you why. So she called 911, and the police got there. And when they got there, this dude was carrying the following items. He was carrying a knife, plastic zip ties, duct tape, mace. He was carrying all that stuff. So it's clear that this guy did not have any good intentions whatsoever at all. And it's just crazy because how long how long this guy has been planning this? He has apparently been cyber stalking her for quite some time and he was able to find her house which is honestly really scary and he has all these nefarious things on him that paint him in not a good picture. So it's crazy because the one first of all this dude is crazy and it sucks for for these wrestlers for any or any sort of celebrity that they can't find this kind of privacy that we all sort of take for granted uh this guy was able to track her down and was able to find her home and if you look at a picture of the guy it's out there he's sort of, he sort of looks like the guy who would stalk someone. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make light of everything, you know. But he looks like a guy that would stalk someone. Um, but the only thing that I can say, other than the fact that this dude's crazy, is that thank God that nothing bad happened to Sonia and that she was able to get the hell out of there because you know this dude obviously had no good intentions whatsoever. You don't have good intentions when you have plastic zip ties, a knife, and mace. Like that's that's those those aren't the best intentions. You don't you're not trying to get an autograph or anything like that. But yeah, thank God that they were able to catch the guy because this is this, this was this is insane news. Um, but yeah, do me a favor. Let me know what you guys think about the botched Sonia Deville kidnapping. Who knows what the guy was going to do to her um, had he actually succeeded. So thank God that, you know, thank God that he was caught. Um, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I've been Samuel V, a.k.a. The Excellent Reviewer, and I'll see you guys as soon as I can. Goodbye and good night. Bang.